This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Well, this is breaking news. Make sure you, you know, hit that like button and all that good stuff. Let's get right into it. So we got Joel Santana back at it. Him and Cameron went at it around 2009 and 2010. Around 2009, Joel's was addicted allegedly to codeine. Okay, so he was sipping, learned it from Lil Wayne. This is when he was out of his mind. This is when I was messing with Jewels. He was out of his mind back then, okay? Uh, I, I've been through those stories before. Um, he kind of lost his footing. I'm sure it had a lot to do with his album being held up on Def Jam because uh, Jay-Z took control of Def Jam. He had the problem with Cameron, Shelf, Jewels. At this time, Jewels and Cameron weren't speaking. Uh, they had their own issues over the contract stuff. And then uh, questions were asked about, you know, Vado joining up with Cameron. And Cameron said, you know, I tried to speak to Joels, but he's, you know, he's messed up. He needs to go to rehab. This was a fact, okay? Allegedly. <laughs> so anyways, Joels responded. Then they didn't talk for a while. They got cool again eventually because Cameron messed with Joels because Joel's is super talented. Okay, he is. It's undeniable. He can rap. Okay, he can make songs. But he he let himself get lazy. That's what happened. Joel's got lazy. He didn't come back. I he wanted to do Skull Gang when his career was falling off. You know, it was 2008, 2009. He hadn't dropped an album in three years. He needed to come back with something Joel Santana, then focus on the guys in Skull Gang. And that would have been fine. You gotta have your crew. But you know, he went against he, he turned away from Dizzet and did his own thing. Jim Jones did the same with Bird Gang, right? Jim Jones had success around this time. Um, Jim Jones had his own issues with Cameron around that time. This is around the time when Cameron was going at 50 Cent. That's when um, Joels and Jim Jones didn't get on that train going at 50 Cent. And uh, they kind of split up for a while. It was a divide and dip set. One of the best... One of the best... Uh, groups you know just units movements to come out of new york city and um time went on joel still didn't drop anything he dropped uh he dropped some mixtape in 2013 that was okay but you know he, then he stopped again then he started coming back in 2016 uh you remember the two songs uh, up in the studio where i did the intros on he took them from youtube and put the intros on there I like that, and I, I I hit him up, and I said, "Hey man, I support you coming back. That'll be great." He he tried to do it on his own. It failed again. Okay, now right before he goes to jail, he does a song. He does the you know him Jim and Cameron. They release you know a, a unified album. It was Diplomats Four or something like that. I forget what it was called. Diplomatic Community, I think it was, or something like that. Anyways, that came out. It was great. Jim Jones dropped probably the best, best album last year. Cameron dropped a great album at the end of last year. Um, and Joel Santana decides to go at Cameron again. And on this track, in my life, he says, uh, "How you? I was the best thing to ever happen to you. You didn't build Dipset on your own. We helped you build the tree. And, and you just raked the leaves and... All this stuff, basically saying that he feels betrayed. He's the best thing to ever happen to Cameron, and Cameron treated him like nothing. That's basically the gist of the whole song. I mean, you can listen to it for yourself. Uh, he's going straight up against Cameron, who Cameron keeps keeps talking about Jewels in a good good way. You know, even though Jewels, uh, well, he got he got allegedly robbed in London around 2008. This, you know, he got kidnapped in London, allegedly. Then uh, the stupidest thing is he got caught in the airport, you know, just two years ago uh, and then ran away from the airport. And then now he's that's why he's in jail. Now, he did this to himself. Cameron didn't do this to him. And it seems like he has, he's salty and Joel's needs to like he needs to hear someone tell him like this. You did this to yourself. You didn't drop music for the past decade of anything, any projects. You didn't keep your career going when you could have. You gotta be a man, man up, and stop seeing what people, saying what people did to you and what you're not doing for yourself. Point blank period, Jim Jones pivoted multiple times. 
Jim Jones is a go-getter. Joel Santana could be a go-getter, but he's not He's not doing it. He's not manning up and taking control of his career. Love and hip-hop wasn't it. Even though Jim Jones did love and hip-hop, he still pivoted with many different... Even when he was doing that, he was doing vamp life. He was doing this. You know, like, he, he stays busy. Joel Santana did this to himself. He's in a bad place. And there's really no excuse for this. Because Cameron says nothing but positive things when he's in there. And it was a dumb thing he got arrested for. Stupid. So, this isn't a great way to come home in a few months. To have a problem with Cameron. And that's what it's going to be, I guess. So, disappointing, honestly. Uh, Anyways, guys. This is Jordan Tao with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Still, he's one of the best rappers. One of the best.